Today, let's talk about how the reptile market is crashing. Now, before I get into everything about this video, I just want to make it clear that this is basically all my opinion. Uh, you could think whatever you want. You can agree with me. You could disagree with me. I'm just saying what I think. And I tend to be a person that I, I'm i more of a realist, but people get that confused with pessimist. I am a very, you know, I'm based on the facts that I think are true. I feel that what is is and things cannot be sugarcoated so again this is all basically just my opinion if you want to listen to it you can however there will be a lot of disagreements about this but i'm going to put the reasons why i think this market is going down right now now if you have noticed over the probably the past couple of years prices on animals have significantly reduced as in a great example would be the lily white crested gecko i have seen the value of that animal go from high to very very affordable and very low over the past couple of years an example that i want to give is that the market i do believe is crashing right now now there's many factors that are contributing to this but i want to go over just a couple of main ones that i really believe are affecting the way people are selling animals and making money off of. Now the first one is obviously gonna be pretty obvious and that is the economy. Things have gotten very expensive over the last couple of years. Ever since COVID really, I was making really good money in fact, probably you know a couple months after COVID, but moving forward from there, I'm making more money than I've ever had in my life, but I am barely scraping by in the fact that, you know, I got bills to pay, I have a tuition I gotta pay off, I have a house now, and I have a ton of animals that I need to spend money to take care of. Now. That all comes as part of keeping reptiles. However, when it comes to getting reptiles, getting their supplies, getting um, medical care, all that contributes into the market itself. Because if you're gonna spend more money on an animal, generally more people are gonna sell that animal because they've worked with it, they've contributed to their health for more money. But what you may notice is that, for example, I've noticed recently that animals have been getting sold for so cheap but they are also being given away for free at this moment in time now what i mean by that is that i'll take for example i have a friend who he he's a, he's a breeder of a very specific species and he does great with it and it's awesome but he also takes in other animals just to keep and he actually will just make sure they're all healthy and he'll just give them away for free this an animal recently that he has had, he tried to give away and he couldn't even give it away. Now what that is saying to me is one, either the value of the animal is becoming so low that it's not worth keeping to different people, or two, there's such an influx of these animals that getting it won't contribute anything to your personal life. So economy for sure, I believe is contributing to a big crash in the reptile hobby right now. And obviously, you know, there's a lot of opinions about the economy. We know it's not great right now. We are struggling as a country to be able to afford just even basic needs for a lot of people, but that also contributes into keeping reptiles and exotic animals as well. Now, the next topic that I really think is contributing to the crash in the reptile hobby is one a lot of people are probably gonna give me crap for. And as much as I hate to say it, if you really look into it, what I'm saying does seem very true. And that is, we are breeding way too many animals. The If you take a, list, a look at a market, for example, you have supply and demand. Supply right now for a lot of animals is far outreaching the demand for them. Now, what does that mean? What I'm saying is, and I'm, again, whatever animals you breed, I think it's very cool. A lot of, I give a lot of crap to the ball python community just as the jokes, but you know, there is a little bit of truth behind it. Ball pythons, crested geckos, and you know things like leopard geckos, they are everywhere. It's to the point where those animals that were costing hundreds and even thousands of dollars are now being sold very cheaply. But if you look at all these expos or even on Morph Market, there's animals are everywhere. 
Now, they're not all being sold, and what's gonna happen is people are, are trying to make their money, they're gonna sell it for much cheaper, and thus, it's bringing down the total value for these animals. Now, over time, the value will slowly probably decrease for most animals in most cases because as more people are breeding certain animals, they become more readily available. However, when we have people who are just breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding, such, for example, as the ball python community, those animals are really gonna decrease in value because they have so many and they are just looking to sell as many as possible rather than focusing on a quality amount of animals. So what I'm trying to say with all this is, for example, if we stopped, if, if we took a handful of these really big mass producing breeders and basically cut, if they were to choose to cut their breeding in half for a year and even just wait a year where they don't have as much animals available, and if we get a global market to do this, which will never happen at all, <laughs> if we had a global market to do this, this could increase that demand because now you got people who need to search for these animals. You need people who need to possibly reach out to people in other states or even other countries, and that'll bring the value of these animals up. Again, this is all my opinion. However, I try to think realistically and I don't believe mass producing a ton of very common animals is a good idea for the market as a whole because this is a very expensive market. A lot of people make livings off of this. Now, I don't fully agree with the full selling and buying of reptiles in all aspects. There's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. However, if you're just gonna produce as many basically basic animals as you can just to sell them as fast as you can for a low price, you're kind of you know, disregarding what this is all about. Basically, what the key components of this is, is if you're mass producing normal ball pythons, everyone, you're gonna find them for 20 bucks. You can find them for free at this point. I haven't, it, this is kind of disregarding a little bit, but I don't pay for a lot of my animals right now because I just wait for the opportunity to work with them. And I've built a level of trust within the community around me where people have entrusted me with certain animals. For example, I've gotten a couple of free red foots from people and that is just because they don't think they can provide the right care. I know I can and I'm not gonna sell those animals unless something were to come up and I immediately disregarded with the person. You know, I might not keep this animal forever, I may sell it or I may give it away for free as well. They know that, but you know, for the time being, I got a couple of animals that were all the same size and I'm gonna keep those and I wanna grow them up and have them just be with my creep of other redfoots as well. But if we were, in my mind, to take a step back from mass producing crested geckos, ball pythons, leopard geckos, and even others rising up animals that are really starting to saturate the market. And believe me, when I say this, I do believe the market is saturated. There are so many animals out there that people just don't want. And what's gonna happen? They're gonna end up just selling super cheaply or even free. But now from what I've seen, people are giving away animals for free because they can't even sell them. So if we cut down on all this mass breeding, what will that do? This will give time for our younger generation of people and our community to really see like, hey, I really want this animal. They can do more research on it. They have a harder time finding it but that means they are willing to maybe even pay more or really prove that they are entitled to this animal. And I wanna reiterate that as much as I make fun of the ball python community, I do have a great deal of respect for them because the ball python community basically laid the foundations for the rest of the different niches or I guess groups of people who are interested in certain animals. But when we have a situation where the demand is way lower than what the supply is, this is what's gonna create issues in the long run. And getting this change is gonna be next to impossible. Um, if Even if the economy were to shoot back up, the only issue I could see coming out of that is people are just gonna start buying these animals again and just selling them for wholesale prices which in ways that's okay, but there is a right way again and a wrong way to do this. And unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it, a lot of people, they will just go get animals, change the price on there and put it on their table or they'll put it up on Morph Market. So it's become a lot about the money for a lot of people and I get it to a point, but it's there's a fine threshold on where it stops becoming about the animal. The animal should be the utmost important thing when it comes to buying and selling animals. But again, I'm just on a rant and a lot of people will probably disagree with me, especially with those who are really into the ball pythons and crested geckos. However, 
from what I've seen, it this in my I guess my niche, which is the turtle and tortoises, you can get red-eared sliders for absolutely free now. And why is because you can literally find invasive ones in places of the world where they're not even from. If we took that and, for example, and stopped mass producing them, they still would have quite some value to it. Now they will decrease over time, as we've seen with other animals. However. If you are doing this rightly and not having everybody mass producing a very common animal, this isn't something that I want to get into with more rare or endangered species because obviously we should be mass producing those. But when you have common animals that you are just mass producing to sell as much as you can, rather than producing a quality animal that is very, very wanted or has a high demand, then you can create some issues with that. Again, I'm just a 25 year old who hasn't been on this earth as long as half the other people in the community. So I probably don't know a single thing I'm talking about, but I try to think things realistically and this is truly what I believe. So you could take what you want from it, but just remember at the end of the day, the animal's care should top anything. The animals should be thriving. We should be caring about the animals more than anything when we shouldn't just see a price tag over these animals. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.